move far, far away, 14, 16 hours away, to transfer to a prison where Sister Margaret is at, the leader and the founder of Revelation Seed. I didn't know why I was going there. I was by my home. I was in Danbury, Connecticut, 45 minutes away, prison visits every two weeks with my family. But the Spirit of the Lord led me to go over there. I was saved, but I wasn't sanctified. This woman taught me sanctification. Hallelujah, she taught me how to walk holy before a holy God. Hallelujah, she taught me how to be a woman of God and a woman of honor. I bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, but I honor my mother in the Lord for teaching me the way. Amen, my sister Stacy. Hi, my name is Stacy Holloman. I'm from North Carolina. Mm. God delivered me in prison, behind the prison walls. I was diagnosed with cancer in the mouth, 1998. I was sentenced in 1996. I, was, I, I came out of prison on t in 2000. But God delivered me in the prison wall. The devil said I wasn't going to make it. He gave me three months death sentence. But God said no. God said no. And I met Sister Mark in Audison, West Virginia. And how I know, Jesus. how I know God. I know God through this lady. She, the, the light of God just shined through her. And remember, never put your mouth on God's people. And God taught me a revelation through the cancer in my mouth. You need to shut your mouth sometimes. And open your mouth when you're supposed to open your mouth. Only through the anointing. When you are called, when you're serving a purpose for God, open your mouth for God. Don't put your mouth on God's people because there's a price to pay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise the Lord. Thank you. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, and I am the woman at the well. Amen. I was a prostitute on $1,000 worth of crack cocaine a day. Amen. I thought I'd never make it. They told me I'd never be nothing. Amen. But I want you to know that God delivered me over in the prison walls. I wasn't saved from prison. I was saved in prison. You need to know I was set free inside prison walls. The judge gave me 24 years, but Jesus Christ gave me eternal life. Jesus. I thought I knew the Bible and I thought I knew how to be a Christian when I got saved in the county jail. I thought that meant I didn't have to go to prison. Not. <laughs> but I was standing before the judge when he gave me 24 years. And he might have given me 24 years, but God gave me what I needed. He let me know that wherever I made my bed, he would be with me. If I made my bed in hell, he'd be with me. And so I was in Lexington Federal Maximum Security Prison. And I wanted something more than just a little bit of religion. I needed to know this thing in its fullness. I wanted as much of God as I could get because I was running for my life. I said, Lord, I want it all. And he sent me evangelist Margaret Reynolds into the prison system to teach me how to live holy. I thank God for my mother in the Lord, and I thank God for this walk. I wouldn't take nothing for my journey. Let's raise the Lord. Virginia is close to Washington, D.C. I went to federal prison. I was doing 10 years, a 10-year sentence, but God blessed me to get out five years earlier. I'm still supposed to be there today. But God... And I wanted to say this, I was a rebellious person. I was a rebellious one. I came off the, I know I got this dress and everything on now, but I came off the street. I was a drug dealer. I came off the street with the Thames and the hoodie. No, y'all don't know about the Thames and the hoodie. But that was me. And God allowed me to go to prison because as a child, I was molested as a child from the age four to the age 14. 
But God delivered me. And ever since I had got molested, I, I put in my mind, I said, every man that wants a piece of me, I'm going to make it my business to try to hurt him like he hurt me. But you know what? All I was doing was making myself go further and further down into a hole. But you know what? That wasn't enough. After I went to prison, because of the abuse I suffered, I figured, well, hey, I'm in prison now. Ain't nothing but women and won't nobody know. Tell the truth now. Tell the truth. Set them free. Won't nobody know. So I thought I would go ahead and date women. See, I'm free today. I really don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. <laughs> Nobody else. But I want to thank God for delivering me because he wasn't going to let me stay in that shape because that wasn't for me either. And so I thank him today that everything that I went through as a child, everything that I suffered, everything that I endured, everything that I went through, God let me go through it so I can stand here today and say, like Donnie McClurkin, you can be molested, you can go through sexual abuse, and you do not have to be a homosexual. I just wanted to say that. God bless you. God bless you.